deserves to be an all star. He is the best big in the league. Like, come on, yeah. Like, like, what are we doing? Like, come on. Best. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. <laughs> Cole, uh, you, you know, you talked a lot about the team having the right mindset and performance. How pleased were you with with the group's effort and, and focus heading into tonight's game? Um, I was extremely pleased. I mean, just, you, I, I mean, as I said, I think I said it earlier today, everyone here, we're hungry. I mean, we really wanted that win. I, we deserved to win that game. And we got what was coming for us. So just was really happy that we all stayed the course. I mean, Bush had 40. So, I mean, that, that, hey, that's pretty sweet right there. But um, now nah, everyone came ready to play. So I just got to see my hat off to the team. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Cole, this question is in response to your opening statement. Uh, <laughs> How much are you and your teammates talking about Vooch's all-star candidate, candidacy among each other and are rooting for him to, to make that second all-star team of his career? Um, I think every person on the team is rooting for him to be an all-star. I mean, we don't really – it's not some – we're not just in the locker room, like, talking and just randomly someone's like, yeah, but Vooch is an all-star. But, like, we all – we're all thinking that we see on social media. I mean, I've gone to vote for him every single day, twice. So, or as many times as I could vote. So, I'm trying to do my part, you know, feel me? So, um yeah, no, it's just we we definitely want to see him be also. I, I, I 100% think he deserves it. Christos Saltis, Sport DNA. Hello, Cole. Congratulations on the win. How easy make your game, uh, Vooch presents on the court, and how far from a double double game you feel you are right now? Because you finished with 17 points and nine assists. I mean, look, when it happens, it happens. I mean, I'm just out there playing. I really wasn't worrying about trying to get that double double. I mean, when it as I said, when it happens, it'll happen. But I mean, I was just really happy we would go out there and get that win. So that's all I could ask for. Aaron Goldstone, Orlando Pinstripe Post. Uh, Cole, we know you're a team guy and you're all about winning, but you know, your counterpart uh, tonight, uh, Kobe White, was also a one and done point guard at North Carolina. Did you have a little extra juice tonight going up against him? Was there a little friendly rivalry and, and how do you think you did? Oh, yeah, for sure. A little friendly rivalry. I mean, look. I'm, Look, I mean, if I was going at him, he's going to go at me. So it's just, it was a little back and forth we had, but that's my guy right there. We played in the USA basketball team together, as I think I said earlier when I did media. But I mean, just good dude and definitely a hell of a player. So I'm just, it was, it was cool to see another UNC dude out there, especially one that I, I know personally. So it was just, it was, it was fun. Phil Brosson Wright, Orlando Magic Daily. Hey, Cole. Um, how, where do you feel your your game is at? It looks like you're playing with a lot more comfort. Obviously, the nine assists kind of suggests that you're you're getting a lot more comfortable running and, and organizing this team. How much did these last two days off kind of help you kind of take a take a breath a little bit with how crazy the season's been? And, and where do you feel your game is is developing? Um, I mean, in terms of just these last two days, this is probably I think this is the first time we had two days off in a month. So I mean, that was definitely good for everyone on the team. Just it allowed us to refocus and just reprioritize what is uh, what what's important. So that was big. And then just in terms of my game, just I'm just I'm just really getting comfortable out there. I mean, this is this is this is who I am. So I just just I'm happy to be out there playing the sport I love and just continuing to get more comfortable out there, continuing to learn. Josh Robbins, the athletic. Oh, you've spoken at least several times about how much you appreciate James Ennis and kind of the the uh, counsel, advice, encouragement he gives you. Have you, even though you are 10 years younger than he is, have you been trying to give him some encouragement um, during what he considers a slow start for himself? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm always just, I, I try to encourage everyone, but I mean, James Sifley, that's my, that's my guy right there. That's my OG, that's my vet. So, I mean, just, he has open shot, be telling, yo, let that joint fly, bro. You can shoot, let it go, let it go. So, I mean, that, and then just when he's doing his job on defense, just, or whatever he's doing his job at, I'm just, I'm telling him, yo, you're doing a good job. But at the same time, when he's, I mean, when he's not doing something right, I feel like he's 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 not playing as hard as he can. I'm gonna tell him. So I mean, it's just, just we had that relationship. So I'm just really happy to have a dude like that on the team, and just uh, he can he can play. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cole, as somebody who's a point guard, you know how impressive was it with with Frank Mason for him? You know, just being signed on Wednesday to to come out here, play significant minutes, and, and, and you know lead the second unit uh, here on Friday. Um, that's hard. That's definitely hard to do. I mean, you, you come in a third of the way through the season where we have already put in all our plays. Everyone's kind of developed that little chemistry with each other. And it's definitely it's definitely tough. I mean, he came in and just he, he knows how to play. So he, and he's a he's also he's a hell of a player. So I'm just I gotta give a lot of credit to him. But it was he really did a good job with that second unit. And just I'm just happy to have him as a teammate. Chris Salta, Sport D. 
Cole, what was uh, the most enjoyable enjoyable part on uh, Woods uh, game tonight? Uh, the fact that it ended in a win. That was probably the best part. So I just, yeah, that 40 points would have been awesome if we didn't win, but it's, it's even better because we won. Okay, any final questions for Cole? All right, thank you, Cole.